So Kansas City is a place you're thinking about calling home, but you're not quite sure what the cost of living is like. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about the cost associated living here in Kansas City, how that can affect you and your overall budget as a resident or a potential resident, and what to look out for. And we're going to get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything that it is to know about living in Kansas City and the surrounding areas, well, subscribe below, tap that bell for notifications so you'll be the first to learn about the current market in Kansas City and in the surrounding areas. My name is Bilal and when I'm not filming reality TV, yeah, reality TV, I'm all about lifestyle in Kansas City and that includes real estate here in this beautiful city of Kansas City and in surrounding areas. I get calls, I get texts, I get DMs every single day from people looking to make their move to Kansas City, and I absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move 10 days from now, 100 days from now, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, and I'll be happy to help you make that smooth move right here in Kansas City or the surrounding areas. So, hey everyone, again, welcome back to my channel, and today we're talking about the cost of living right here in Kansas City. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, Kansas City, that's just barbecue and jazz, right? Well, my friends, there is so much more to this Midwestern gym. First things first, let's talk about housing. Hey, I'm a realtor, gotta talk about housing, right? Kansas City's got a great selection of rental options with the average one bedroom in the city coming in about $900 a month. And while they may seem like a lot, just think of all the barbecue you can buy with the money you save on rent. Hmm. But if you're looking for a little more space, you get a three bedroom for around $1,400 a month. So whether you're flying solo or starting a family, Kansas City's got you covered. And if you're looking to buy a home, well, look out because Kansas City offers a very diverse housing community that allows you to get a lot of bang for your buck. You get much more house for your dollar in Kansas City versus a lot of other major cities around the country. Trust me, I know. And then I also mentioned that, that also that home includes a nice size yard, you know? So you don't have to worry about living on stack up, stack up, stack up, stack up on one another, living right next to a person, etc. So living in this city offers a lot more things for you. So if you're renting and you're thinking about owning something, we also offer a lot of opportunities for people to be able to get proof for home loan. This reach out to me and I can be able to help you with that as well too. So no, we're talking about housing. Let's talk about other things like, I don't know, groceries, right? Kansas City may be known for its barbecue, but you don't have to break the bank to eat like a king or a queen in the city. The average grocery bill for a family of four is about, it's about $600 a month. So you can chow down on those ribs uh, without feeling too guilty, you know, I guess. At least, maybe the body may feel a little guilty. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, anyway. Plus, the local farmer's market and specialty food shops, you can find some of the freshest ingredients that is healthy as well that could be uh, help you with that. You know, so that way you don't have to worry about, you know, going to the gym all the time. You can carry your groceries sometimes. But if you must go to the gym. Kansas City also offers a wide range of gyms that all around the city. So no matter if it's close by your home or your work environment, and it's relatively cheap. Now, what about transportation? Well, Kansas City does have public transportation system. So you can save on, you know, save on your gas money, but let's be real. Public transportation in Kansas City is a lacking and maybe hard to get especially if you live in the suburbs away from Kansas City, Missouri. So having a vehicle is a must living here. However, gas prices are relatively much lower than the majority of other cities across the nation. But if taking public transportation is your thing, with an average monthly cost of $60 for a transit pass, you won't have to choose between getting to work and buying that extra rack of ribs, if that's your thing. And let's not forget about all the sights you get to see on your daily commute back and forth to work. So all in all, all right. But what about the entertainment? Kansas City got a thriving arts and culture scene, so there's always something to do. And the best part, you don't have to spend a fortune. With movie tickets averaging about $12, a, you know, and a night out for two, I mean, to a nice restaurant, it's about 60 bucks. And you know, you could, it won't, 
break the bank. Plus, with all the local festival and events that you have, you never run out of things to do in Kansas City. And let's also talk about shopping, right? Kansas City got a great selection of shopping options from big name retailers to unique local boutiques. And with sales taxes coming in about 8.6%, you can treat yourself without feeling a little too guilty, opposed to some other places. Plus, with all the great thrift and vintage stores, you can find one-of-a-kind pieces that sure to make all your friends back home a little jealous. So there you have it, folks. The cost of living in Kansas City, it got great housing options, affordable groceries, solid transportation costs, and plenty of entertainment and shopping. Who says you can't have your barbecue and eat it too? Overall, Kansas City screams affordability. You don't have to worry about paying three to $4,000 just on a rent. But at the same time, there are many things to do. So you just don't have to be stuck in your apartment or your home all day. You can get out and enjoy the scenes, eat, have fun, and it won't break the bank. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, to comment, subscribe for more great content about living here in Kansas City and the surrounding areas. And as always, if you're looking to move, whether it's 10 days from now or 100 days from now, hey, give me a call, send me a text, or shoot me an email, and I'll be happy to help you make that smooth move right here in Kansas City. And until next time, folks, well, I hope to see you around time.